Hello guys, it's been a little bit, but I figure it's about time we get back to some human Japanese. So, we're gonna pick it back up at chapter 10, Times and Seasons. It's time once again for some heavy duty vocabulary building. In this lesson we'll be learning the days of the week, the months, the months of the year, and so on. So let's have our first list, shall we? So, today is Kyo. Kyo. Kino for yesterday. Kino. Ashita for tomorrow, like Ashita no Joe. Ashita. Ototoi, the day before yesterday. Ototoi. Asate. Asate, the day after tomorrow. Kesa. Kesa, this morning. Yoru. Yoru, night. Yube. Yube, last night. Notes. Listen carefully to the pronunciation of the word ashita. You'll notice that the I in she is hardly there. This is the same whispered vowel effect we observe in the words desu and deshita. In this case, it makes the word sound like ashita. In English, we have roundabout ways to referring to the day before yesterday and the day after tomorrow. But there are bona fide words for these in Japanese, and they are used frequently. Nichiyoubi. Sunday. Getsuyoubi. Monday. Kayoubi. Kayoubi. Tuesday. Suiyoubi. Suiyoubi. Wednesday. Mokuyoubi. Mokuyoubi. Thursday. Kinyoubi. Kinyoubi. Friday. Doyoubi. Doyoubi. Saturday. The yobi suffix is similar to the day suffix on the days of the week in English. Each day is named after some, after something. For example, Getsu Yobi literally means moon day, which is interesting because the English word Monday means the same thing, and the Spanish word lunes also bears strong resemblance to the root luna or moon. There might just be something inherently moonish about Mondays. Senshu. Senshu, last week. Konshu. Konshu this week. Raishu. Raishu next week. Sensenshu. Sensenshu the week before last. Saraishu. Saraishu the week after next. Sengetsu. Sengetsu last month. Kongetsu. Kongetsu this month. Raigetsu. Raigetsu next month. Sensengetsu. Sensengetsu the month before last. Saraigetsu. Saraigetsu, the month after next. No, this list is pretty easy once you notice a few patterns. First, notice that the prefix sen means last, kon means this, and rai means next. You'll notice that, as with days, Japan has explicit words for the last week and month before last. And then, if you're wondering, yes, sen senshu literally does mean last last week. The getsu in these words is the same as the one we saw in getsu yobi, meaning moon, so it makes sense to see it again in the words relating to months. Gatsu. Gatsu is the suffix for month of year. Ichigatsu. Ichigatsu, January. Nigatsu. Nigatsu, February. Sangatsu. Sangatsu, March. Shigatsu. Shigatsu, April. Sangatsu. Like March comes in like a line, Sangatsu no line. Shichigatsu. Shichigatsu, July. Kugatsu. Kugatsu, September. The names of the month are a cinch in Japanese, just attach the number of the month to the suffix gatsu. No, not getsu. Using this rule, Ichigatsu becomes January, Nigatsu, February, and so on. For the numbers that have multiple forms, 4, 7, and 9, be sure to use the ones indicated in the vocabulary list. Kyonen. Kyonen is last year. Kotoshi. Kotoshi for this year. Rainen. Rainen for next year. Ototoshi. Ototoshi, the year before last. Sarainen. Sarainen, the year after next. Mai. Mai is used on every prefix, like mai nichi. Mai nichi. Every day. Maishu. Maishu, every week. Maitsuki. 
毎月 every month. 毎年。毎年 every year. In the like the start of Gurren Lagan, there's a bit where like Carmen is like, 毎日毎日毎日 So that'll help you remember every day. It's like every day we struggle in this hole. Uh, no. But the words relating to weeks and months, uh, things were pretty uniform, but they get shaken up a bit in this list. Nen and Toshi are both the roots that mean year. Be careful to put the right one with the right words. Incidentally, Nichi in my Nichi is the same as in Nichi Yobi or Sunday. It's a root that means sun or day, which has two consequences. First, Sunday is another word that miraculous means exactly the same thing in both English、uh, or in, in both languages. The Japanese meaning literally Sunday. And second, It makes Mainichi more comprehensible as every day. Here's some more. Fuyu. Fuyu for winter. Haru. Haru from spring, like in Persona. Natsu. Natsu is summer, like in a fairy tale, I guess. Aki. Aki is autumn, like the dude from Chainsawman. Chainsawman? Aki. E. E is good. Otenki. Otenki is weather. E otenki this ne. Koen. Koen is park. Ne. And ne is the agreement seeker, like this ne. We'll be looking at adjectives in detail in a later lesson, but for now, let's briefly consider e, a very common word in Japanese. Adjectives are placed directly before nouns, just like in English, so to say, good dog, it's e inu. いい猫です。いい猫です。So、it should be like good cat. It's a good cat. いいお天気です。いいお天気です。I think it's good weather. The weather is nice. Trying it with some other forms of death, so we get いい犬ではありません。いい犬,いい犬はではありません。Was it では,いい犬ではありません。I think that means this is a dog. Oh, it's not a good dog. I guess we have the E and then like some negatives. いいお天気でしたいいお天気でした Which I guess is this is bad weather. Or it was good weather. Commenting on the weather is common in every culture. But can you imagine passing a stranger in the park and authoritatively de declaring, It is nice weather? Normally we add a softening question on the end like, It's nice weather, isn't it? By adding this, we seek the listener's agreement. In Japanese, you can do this with the particle ne. Simply tack ne onto the end of any sentence, and it makes, makes it an agreement seeking sentence. So if inu this means it's a dog, and inu this ne means it's a dog, isn't it? You can use ne with any, sens any sentence at all, even negatives. So if kyo de wa arimasen means it's not today. Then, kyo de wa arimasen ne means it's not today, is it? It's worth noting how much simpler this is in Japanese than in English. In English, the agreement seeker always has to match the subject and the verb of the main sentence, which means it can take dozens of forms. For example, check out the following sentence They're not going, are they? He wasn't sick, was he? She's eaten it, hasn't she? In Japanese, the bolded part of each of these sentences would simply be ne. All ne, all the time. You'll be seeing this particle quite a bit because it's used in conversation extremely heavily. It sounds friendly because you're not forcing your opinion on people, you're generally seeking their agreement. A few examples of this would be. いい猫ですね。Which would be like, that's a good cat, isn't it? It's a good cat. いいお天気でしたね。Which would be, it was good weather, isn't it? Wasn't it? Alright. To finish, let's catch up with John and Mariko as they talk in the park. Konnichiwa, Mariko san. Konnichiwa, Mariko san. Konnichiwa, いいお天気ですね。Konnichiwa, いいお天気ですね。Hello. It's good weather, isn't it? Hello, it's nice weather, isn't it? Haruwa i d e s ne. Haruwa i d e s ne. Ah. Spring is nice, isn't it? 
Spring is nice, isn't it? Yeah. 今週は毎日いいお天気でしょう。今週は毎日いいお天気です。え今週は毎日いいお天気でしょう。今週は毎日いいお天気でしょう。今週は毎日いいお天気でしょう。It will probably be good weather every day this week. Hmm.、Mm, that one's meaty. The N series. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that N. We're up to the N and H series, meaning that by the end of the chapter, we'll be over halfway through the syllabary. As always, pay close attention to the proper stroke order and practice writing these characters largely with a good wooden pretzel. Since this syllabary is parallel to Hiragana 1010, Cannot be applied to this series. We got na, ni, nu, ne, and no. Here's some tips be sure to inter- intersect the first stroke of na in the center. You can remember ni because it has two horizontal lines, and, and ni is the word for two. This character is basically ta without the first stroke. Ne will look a lot more balanced if you think of the third stroke as a central support pole around which the rest of the character should be distributed evenly. And no is easy to remember because no other lines attached to it. Here's some reading practice. Onaka. 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 Nigai. Nigai.、Oh, I don't know about that. Nuno. Nuno. Nani ka? Shinu. Shinu. Nanashi. Nanashi. The protagonist from SMT 4A. No ka. No ka. Netsu. Netsu. Nishiki. Nishiki. Little smiley face, kinda cute. She kinda cute. Nishiki. Kinu. Kinu. Nochini. Nochini. Nugu. Nugu. Gugu. Nugu. Neko. Neko. Nagai. Nagai. Nudo. Nudo. I like to be nudo. The H series. The edgy series. The characters in this series behave just like their counterparts in hiragana when it comes to adding ten ten and maru. With ten ten, they all become B sounds, and with maru, they're circle. They become P sounds. Got ha, he, who, he, ho. Got babi boobe bo and papi poope po. Because this series is the series for H, B, and P sound, we see it a lot. These sounds turn out to be very frequently used in foreign words such as computer. Terebijon and Hado Doraibu. Hado Doraibu, etc. Don't let these strokes connect at the top. Make sure the second stroke forms a solid 90 degree elbow and he. It's important with who that we don't make the curved part straight. In other words, don't make it look like a 7. It also helps to keep it slightly wider than it is tall. Write this exactly as its cousin. And if you learn anything from my notes on the two syllabaries, I hope it's that you should always be sure to include the hane and characters that use them. Here we find a beautiful example at the end of the stroke two. At the end of stroke two. Hopefully, I never have two strokes. Reading practice. We're halfway done with katakana. Draw yourself by reading the, the, this friendly quiz. Banana. Banana. Hibiki. Hibiki, like euphonium. Kabi. Kabi, my, my Smash Bros. name. Hanabi. Hanabi. Bushi. Bushi. Nikibi. Nikibi. Fuji. Fuji. Beika. Beika, like a baker. Potato. Potato. I know, I know this character because it's used for Pokemon. Hebi. Hebi, snake. Boto. Boto. Peak. Peak. Peak fiction. Peak. Osoi. Osoi. 
What's that? Oh, this is the Pell form. Over here. Papa. Papa. Poopy. Poopy. Good stuff. End it on the poopy. Summary. In this lesson, we learn many sets of time-related words, such as the days of the week, the months of the year, and so on. We also learn the particle ne, which attaches to the end of any fully formed sentences and transforms it into an agreement-seeking sentence. This allows us to create new sentences where, instead of pontificating authoritatively, we can seek the listener's agreement in a friendly tone. For example, instead of declaring i o tenki desu ne, it's good weather, we can now say i o tenki desu ne, it's good weather, isn't it? Or, or I guess before we were just like i o tenki desu, and now we're like i o tenki desu ne. We also uh, took in another installment of Katakana, putting us past the halfway point. As always, test your metal with the friendly quizzes below. Well, let's do a little chapter review and then we'll call it. What suffix do you attach to numbers to make the names of the month? The Gatsu. Yatta. Nijigatsu. Please choose the correct romanization so we get Po. And the rest is kind of strange, but I know we got another Namara at the end there, so it's probably Chipu at the end. We're going with potato chipu. Kanpeki. Oh, kanpeki. Kanpeki. Choose the correct romanization. Oh, this is she in the middle? Or maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Probably a P sound at the end. Atsupu, I'm gonna say. Are? Oh, no. Atsubu. Are? Apu? Uh, what's the, what's the face doing in there? What does the prefix sen mean in words like sengetsu, senshu, and so on? I think that was the last. Kanpeki. Yeah. What does the prefix rai mean in words like raigetsu, raishu, and next one, and so on? I'm gonna say next. Yatta. Yeah. Yeah. Choose the correct romanization. I think I think that's piano. P piano. Kanpeki. Piano. January, February, March, April. So we got four. Ichi ni san shi. I'm gonna go. Uh, both could be correct. Oh, okay. I think she got to. Kanpeki. Nah, Yohon got to. What does ototoi mean? Ah. Uh, I think the day before yesterday. Kanpeki. Yes. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So that's seven. So I'm gonna go with Shichigatsu. Kanpeki. Yes. Choose the. I think that we got a ka at the start and then it gets extended out. So I am going to go with. Kanabi? Yatta. Yes. Yes, fellas. Yes. Four star general. Very good. Alright. Well, thank you for listening and I hope you have yourself a wonderful night. Take care.